Hi, I'm the guest speaker of the day. Black Pink Raptor invited me to here because he reached 50,000 subscribers today. If he wants me to tell you guys that, he is really, really happy and he is really, really thankful to you guys. And hopefully, you guys can keep supporting his channel and tell other people about his channel and about his math video. And he's going to be really, really happy. And you guys may see me come back more often. Anyway, today I'll show you guys how to construct the 157590 special right triangle. And there's also another special special right triangle. The 187290 special special right triangle. If you haven't seen that, the link is in the description. Alright, so check that out. This is how we're going to start. So right here, I will draw half of a rectangle first. So my picture is going to be like this. And hopefully my picture is okay. You guys are not going to get mad at my picture. Anyway, from here, you know this is going to be 90 degree because I want to make this uh, you know, half of a rectangle. And I want to just go right here and then turn 45 degree. So I will just make it like this. So this is just going to be the 45 degree like that. I just want to rotate this right here. This is my 45 degrees. I don't want my angle to be 15 yet. Next, from here, I will rotate another 30 degrees. And once again, I know I haven't come with uh, 15 degrees, but it's coming up. Because as you can see, once I draw this line, I'm just extending this line, right? Here's 45, here's 30. All together should be 90. So how big is this? This right here has to be the 15 degrees, isn't it? And now this is how we are going to finish the picture. Earlier, I just extend, extend the line. But right here, I would like to make a perpendicular cut. So I would like to just draw a perpendicular line, which is okay for me to do. Let me just do like this. This right here, I want it to be 90 degrees. And here is the cool part. This is 30 degrees. This is 90. Of course, this right here has to be what? 60 degrees, isn't it? And now I will just finish the rectangle the following way. Because this is where I end. I'm just going to draw a horizontal line like this to here. And I will draw a vertical line like that. At the end, I will have to erase the extra pieces that I don't want. And now, you see, all these are just corners, 90 degrees. And here's a cool part. 30, 60, 90 is a special right triangle, isn't it? And I'm just doing the construction, so I get to pick the ratio of the sides I want. 30, 60, 90. Right here, this is the shortest side. I would like to make this equal to 1. Once again, it's okay for me to do because I'm just doing the construction. If this is 1, this right here has to be what? Square root of 3, isn't it? And the hypotenuse right here, it will be just a 2, isn't it? Check this out. This is 45, this is 90, this has to be what? I know the picture is kind of wrong, but it's okay. This has to be 45 as well, right? And likewise, can we figure this out? This is 45, this is 90, this has to be also 45. So this right here is 45. And right here, it also has to be 45, isn't it? This is 15, this is 90. This right here, it's not 45 anymore. <laughs> this is 75. As you can see, down below here, that's the special right triangle that I'm talking about. The special, special one. 15, 75, 90, special, special right triangle. But we do have this special triangle and that special right triangle already. Anyway, this is my major focus. If you just look at this right triangle, I know the hypotenuse is 2, so that's great. But how can I figure out the other sides? If I know the other sides, I can tell you guys what's the sine of 50 degrees, what's the cosine of 15 degrees, and things like that. That'd be so cool. We can actually do it. It's not that bad. This is 45, this is 45. So in other words, this and that have to be the same length. So what's this length? Can we figure it out? Sure we can. Because that's a special right triangle as well. So recall that 45, 45, 90 special right triangle, okay? This is the 45. 45, 90 special right triangle. Well, the ratio of the sides in the simplest form is 1, 1, square root of 2. And now, this is square root of 3. How can I figure this and that out? 
You can use Pythagorean theorem, but the easiest way is the following. All you have to do is multiply this right here by square root of 3 over square root of 2. How is that possible? Well, if you just multiply everything by square root of 3 over square root of 2, I just have Remember, since this triangle and that triangle are similar, I can just multiply everything by the same number, right? I mean, they'll be the same ratio. So this and that will cancel, and that's how we can get the square root of 3. In another word, this right here has to be square root of 3 over square root of 2. And likewise, this right here has to be square root of 3 over square root of 2 as well. That's excellent. All right, now, here we have another Ooh. one. But in this case, this right here is 1. So what should we do? I'm just going to multiply everything by 1 over square root of 2. So that this will be the 1 that we want, right? And I will just go ahead and multiply this by 1 over square root of 2, and multiply this by 1 over square root of 2. That's great, isn't it? So right here, this is 1 over square root of 2, and this right here is 1 over square root of 2. Aha! How can we figure out this side and that side? Well, the red part wise, it's going to be the whole thing. The whole thing is square root 3 over square root 2, and that was the reason why I didn't rationalize the denominator, because now they have the same denominator. Anyway, the red part is just going to be the whole thing, which is that, minus this. I will just put them together for you guys. In another word, it will be square root 3 minus the 1 on the top over the same denominator, which is square root 2, like that. How about this right here down below? Well, it's just going to be this plus that, isn't it? So I will just put this down right here, square root 3 plus 1 over square root of 2, like that. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the 15, 75, 90 special right triangle. So now let me just draw this picture right here for you guys again, okay? So we have this right here. And just like what we did earlier here, if you don't really like this denominator, you can just multiply everything by square root 2. And let's do that so we don't have to deal with fractions. So this right here, 2 times square root 2 is just 2 square root of 2. And then this times square root 2 is just square root 3 minus 1. And then this right here times square root 2 is just going to be, well, square root 3 plus 1. And this right here is that special, special right triangle. And from this, you can do a lot of things. For example, I can tell you guys what's sine of 15 degrees. Here is the 15 degree opposite over hypotenuse, which is square root of 3 minus 1 over that 2 square root of 2. Just like that. And depending on if you're in pre-calc in trig or you graduated already, if you're in pre-calc in trig, you have to rationalize the denominator. But if you graduate from those classes, you don't have to. And if you would like, you can also do cosine. Cosine 15 degrees is this over that. So you have the plus version, square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 square root of 2, right? Lastly, let's do tangent. So we have the tangent of 15 degrees. Well, tangent of 15 degrees is this over that. We have the square root of 3 minus 1 over square root of 3 plus 1, right? And for this one, let me just rationalize this denominator for you guys because this right here is the harder one. So I will multiply the top and bottom by this conjugate, which is square root of 3 minus 1, and do the same on the top, of course. 2 minus square root of 3, this is for tangent. So sine, cosine, tangent of the 15 degrees. Hopefully you guys like this, okay? And once again, thank you so, so, so much for the 50 thousand subscribers. Yay! So good.